Well, it's a beautiful day for a parade, don't you think? Absolutely. It's gorgeous. And, of course, we're here to broadcast the 2014 annual homecoming parade. And, of course, this is a great weekend for Springford. It's been a really nice weekend. Yesterday we had the pep rally at the high school. The powder puff game had the highest score ever. And it was the first time, I think, that I've ever been a ref that the weather was beautiful as well. So it was a great night. Very good. Well, we're looking forward to this parade. I'm Dave Willauer. And I'm Susan Miscavige. And we'll be bringing you all the details about our parade this year. So stay tuned to this edition of the annual Springford Homecoming Parade. Don't worry. The 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. Well, the parade is just about ready to start. Welcome back to RCTV and the 2014 Spring Ford Homecoming Parade. It is a beautiful day for a parade. The weather station at Royers Ford Elementary says that the temperature is 67 degrees. Humidity is 54%. We are having some breezy issues, though, aren't we? Yes, we are. A little bit are. of wind today. Gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Winds are right now about 6, so. Just kind of okay with me because when the sun gets a little warm, it's nice to have that breeze. That's right. Who would have thought we'd be wearing short sleeve shirts out here today? I though? know, I know. I have about three different layers of clothes that I brought <laughs> with me just in case for that exact purpose. I'd like to see uh, Chief Nerlinger, the Royers Ford Police. We thank the Royers Ford Police for all their help in barricading the streets and yes. making sure that we don't have any stray cars coming through. And it looks like here comes our band, our award-winning band again. They just keep racking up those awards. They really do. 145 member Golden Ram Marching Band. This is our biggest band ever this year. Is that right? Yes. Um, don't know if you know anything about the halftime show, but it's inspired by all of our snow days. So <laughs> talking about uh, the it's weather. An, it's entitled First Snow? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hopefully we won't have the same winner from last year, I don't know. <laughs> the band also wants to thank the Parent Association. They do a great job. Mr. Dan Rao, president. As well as the district and the school board, the administration, for their continued support of the program. Our high school band is directed by Mr. Seth Jones. And before they get ready to play, I guess we should talk about those awards. They're currently the 2006, 2007, 2008, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013 champions of the Tournament of Bands. Which is absolutely awesome. As well as the 2008, 9, 10, and 13 Cavalcade of Bands Yankee Open Class Champions. And I'm really hoping that they're stopping so that they're going to perform. I think we're going to get to hear them perform. Let's take a listen.
What a wonderful performance. Oh, they always do a great job. What a great way to get the parade off to a, a good start, too. Yes, it is. Dave, I uh, spend a little bit of time after school and I see these kids spending tireless hours outside in the parking lot every day after school practicing. In addition to all the three days and whatnot they did, two and days, I guess, it's a lot of time. They start back in August, right? Yes. Early August, yeah. Yes, when the rest of us are relaxing a little bit before the beginning of the school year, they are in full swing. Those uniforms, the uniforms really look sharp, too. They do, they're really nice. It looks like next up is Dr. Gooden and his wife in their convertible. Yeah, the Grand Marshal of our parade today, Dr. Gooden and his wife. What's the over-under on whether or not we're going to get some candy here? I, I don't know. <laughs> he's driving with his left. Okay, thinking not then. Oh, no, he's driving with his right, so that's oh, not a good sign. No, right? not good. <laughs> Great day for a parade, it sure is. It definitely is. is, Dr. Gooden. Next up is the assistant superintendent, Dr. Alan Roach. He probably has that whole back of that pickup truck filled with candy. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, could you please send some this way? <laughs> I don't think with all the kids sitting around us, I think we're out of luck, unfortunately. Yeah, I think so. Dr. Roche has some uh, practice with these kind of things because uh, if any of you don't know, he's one of the flag runners for the Eagles game. So he's used to these kind of uh, events and whatnot, Absolutely. being the center of attention for a little bit. <laughs> we missed this year the Ice Bucket Challenge. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I believe it's posted on Facebook. You need oh, to see that. Oh, I'll the, have uh, to check that out. First day was pretty awesome. He challenged Dr. Gooden. Uh, okay. The mayor of Spring City is up next. This is uh, Mayor Michael Weiss. Glad to have him in the parade today. Of course, he is the other half of the twin boroughs of Royersford and Spring City. Oh, and check it out. They have their own camera. They're filming they from do. the car. They do. They do. Hi, Mike. Doing well. <laughs> and I believe this is a Spring City Police Patrol car. And we're going to assume that uh, Anthony Koklinski is in there, the Chief of Police. Looks like there might be two officers. Yes, there's two officers in there today. Yep. And there goes that win we were talking about. Okay, next up we have the Lim Limerick Township Police. We have a couple of cars from Limerick in the parade today. And uh, all right, we got a little, right, yeah, we got a little bit of a added bonus. recognition there. We'll take that. And here is Upper Providence's car. Oh, lots of candy in there. Oh, that car. and we have some of the supervisors in there Lisa Mossy and John Pearson and Phil Barker. Good to have them in our parade today. Okay, they're followed up by the high school chorus. Our high school chorus is directed by Yvonne O'Day. 45 members in the chorus, in the vocal ensemble. Oh, the, no, I'm sorry. They have five choirs, including 120 members, but the 45-member vocal ensemble was recently selected to be uh, the featured choir in New York City's Carnegie Hall on April 19th. Oh, and they're giving us a nice little serenade as they walk by. Kind of lends a festive air to the parade to hear yes, them it singing. Does. Now I have to tell uh, Emily McGranahan that I'm always disappointed that the orchestra isn't carrying their cellos and, and right. violins. <laughs> so let's see what well, candy and viol <laughs> that would be a definite feat if they could do that. <laughs> this year's um, high school band and orchestra concert will be held on Tuesday, December 16th at 17 at 7 p.m. 
the uh, price of admission is free and we'd love to have everybody there. You know, I, this is an interesting fact that the orchestra has grown 700% since its inception seven years ago. Got a little props there as kids are walking by, nice. Okay, oh, and here comes the uh, lovely family. Oh, look, we're getting candy. Yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was my nephew throwing That's... candy at me. <laughs> Hello, Miscavige family. That is always a plus when you know somebody in the parade. Now, I, is this... Uh... These are the princesses coming up. Okay. These are our freshman princess, Tessa Renner, our sophomore princess, Laura Klein, and our junior princess, Sibel Iskender. Just a little bit of information about them. Our freshman, Princess Tessa Renner, is the daughter of Jim and Kelly Renner of Limerick Township. She plays for Springford tennis team and is a mem member of Interact. And Laura Klein is the daughter of Ken and Lisa Klein of Upper Providence. And Laura is a member of the Golden Rams marching band, plays the clarinet, and also plays the bassoon. Sibel Iskender is the daughter of Aziel and Sabina Iskender. Sibel is a member of Vocal Ensemble. In 2014, she took gold in the Golden Key Piano Music Fe Festival at Carnegie Hall. Which is extraordinarily impressive, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Okay, next up we have some members of our court. Uh, this is Andrew Alban. Looks like we have Tessa Nikonen. Uh, Tessa's there, yeah. Delaney Reagan. Tessa's the daughter of Tom and Terry Nikonen of Upper Providence Township. She's a member and captain of the varsity soccer team. In addition to that, we also have Kelly Darlington in that car. We'll make sure we give everybody their proper recognition. We understand they had to double up a little bit with some of our vehicles. Yes, we had a little bit right? of a mishap so. with our vehicles this morning, so uh, our organization of who's in which car is a little bit off. Okay, well, first of all, here comes our homecoming king, who was just nominated, in a, or I'm not sorry, nominated, but crowned yes. yesterday yeah. at our pep rally. This is Paul Power. Just a little bit of an aside, Paul had uh, a returning Pac-10 championship yes, uh, this week. He beat, uh, in cross country, he beat the second place runner by 38 seconds. That is awesome. He wears that crown well. Yes, he does. Oh, now here comes the most handsome driver of the parade. <laughs> All right. I'm a little biased there. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Forget the kids in the car. Let's look at the driver. This is my husband, Alex Miscavige, and I believe these are the members of Pep Club, Pep Club. in his car. Um, the 2014 officers of Pep Club are Julia Rocchio, Ellie Grazade, Carly Fanders, Maddie Nawa, and Maggie McGill. And Miss Juhas is their advisor. <laughs> Oh, you and they just decked me with candy in the that. face. Awesome. Here is the 2013 queen, Helena Mullen, and her friends. Helena is now a freshman student at the Pennsylvania State University in University Park. This is Miss Teen Rhode Island in the Allison Kratz. She's a Spring Ford grad. Joining us today, um, she's a 2012 graduation of Spring, uh, graduate of Spring Ford High School and the daughter of, daughter of Shelley Kratz. She holds the title of Miss American Mid-Atlantic Co-Ed and will compete for the national title of Miss American Co-Ed over Thanksgiving in Orlando, Florida. And riding with her is uh, a Peyton Wilkie. Peyton is the daughter of Mike and Casey Wilkie, and she is a four-year-old, and she holds the title of Miss American Keystone State Princess. She's also going to be wow. competing over Thanksgiving in Orlando for the national title of Miss American Princess. Following them in the next car is Miss American Keystone State, Morgan Lee. Morgan Jersons as the Miss American Keystone State co-ed. She's the daughter of Mike and Mary Beth Lee and a 2012 graduate of Spring Ford High School. And she will go on to compete for the national title of Miss American co-ed over the Thanksgiving holiday at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. She's a junior at Acadia University. I had both of those girls and they're just really nice to see them again here it at the parade. Is, it's great. and. Uh, Morgan went to Royersford Elementary, so I know Morgan Wonderful. very well. Looks like we have our middle school band here. They are directed by Ms. Chris Jennings, and it looks like we're going to get a performance. Awesome. That is great. 80 musicians, 13 Color Guard members this year, and they are getting ready to perform.
Great job. What a great performance. And they just performed the closer from their show, Rock Art. Uh, the, the name of the song was Daft Punk Mel Medley. Yes, by the uh, group Daft Punk. So that's really up and current music. Oh. I feel a little... I, know, I know nothing <laughs> about <laughs> it. <laughs> I'll tell you, being a high school teacher, it's a good group. You know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got this. You're well aware. <laughs> We couldn't have asked for a better seat there. We had a front row seat to that performance. We did. Wonderful job. Great job. Excellent job. Here comes the director, Chris Jennings. Wow, look at these cars coming up. Looking good. In our first car, we have Joe Cerisi, school board president. Oh, Mr. Joe Cerisi, there he is, and his wife. that is besides a Bel Air it's beautiful and the board vice president is coming next here mr. Tom DeBello and his wife lots of candy this year yeah. I really uh, I'd say there's a 20% increase over last year I guess yes I would concur <laughs> I got to put my chocolate out of the Sun it's getting warm oh, oh yeah. no oh no yes definitely <laughs> And I think this is Mark Dennert. Yes, yes it Mark is. Dennert, one of our school board members. Longtime member and supporter. Coming up, it looks like Don Haney in this next truck. Okay. I'm going to guess that might be her husband in the back, maybe? I'm, I don't know. And this is Todd Wolf. Todd Wolf, another board member. I'm going to assume that is his wife. Yes. Uh, I guess, Dave, we should take a moment to thank Tri-County Toyota for, er, for uh, giving us the cars today and donating our cars for our parade. Absolutely. This is Kelly Spletzer. Kelly Spletzer and her husband, maybe some, some kids there. And earlier up, uh, her daughter Haley was with the chorus walking. We have other board members as well who couldn't be in the parade today, uh, Bern Pennett, Will Cromley, and Clinton Jackson. But we would definitely like to thank them for all of their support. We certainly do. It is district. a thankless job. Countless hours need to be invested in all that they do with the monthly board meetings and their committee meetings. Oh, this is Mr. Oh, this Nugent. Mr. Nugent. Yeah, our high red school principal. Convertible. Nice, very nice Corvette. Yeah, awesome. And here comes an older Corvette. Got some great cars in the parade. Boy, today. don't we, though? 
Oh, this is Mrs. Rupert. She's our senior house principal. Oh, oh. we got the nice old horn. <laughs> and this is uh, the Model A Ford, 1930 Model A Ford, driven wow. by Cliff Wilson of Royers Ford. That is his, his baby. And in the passenger seat is Barry Schaefer. Now, we're having a contest this year. Mr. Okay. Bonnet said he will sponsor this. Okay. $10 gift card to Wawa. Uh, who is older, the car or Mr. Schaefer? <laughs> and you can send your entries oh, that's great. to... We can send your entries to Steve Bonnets at the high school by November 15th. A winner will be drawn from all the correct answers. That's fantastic. Yeah. We have a float coming up next. Oh, now this is exciting because I believe this is the first time we have had an alumni float. Really? Uh, and this is, they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. Oh, that is so neat. Yep. Uh, Renegers Farms is providing the, the float. And uh, I was hoping it was being pulled by a tractor. My grandson yes. is watching his first Spring Ford parade today. Oh, that's so neat! And that would he be great. was he was looking forward looking to a forward tractor, to but tractor. we have a we have a pickup truck instead, which is fine. Right. This is the class of 19 Spring Ford class of 1963, celebrating their 50th anniversary. 64, 64. I did a typo on that. Uh oh. <laughs> That's neat. We'll see them in a couple months at graduation. That's oh, right. Oh, that is right. See them. I keep forgetting that we're going to 2015. Yeah. We saw yeah. them this year. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? They said they learned old math. They didn't need calculators. Don't need a calculator. <laughs> oh, now this is the school police oh, vehicle. This is, this is the first vehicle. time I have yes. seen this. Driven by Officer Bry Fogel. Yep. And Officer Gwendolyn Phillips. They do a great job. They do a fantastic job. I was out there for bus duty this week uh, doing traffic with them, and God bless them for that. That is another oh, thankless job with yeah. new teen drivers. <laughs> I will say so. <laughs> that is so true. Uh, coming up, looks like we have our cheerleaders. We have cheerleaders from all across the board, right? Yes. They're uh, at all home games and away football games. They participate in pep rallies throughout the district. I'll say take part in community service projects. They're, they are really packed into that they wagon. They really are <laughs> smashed in there. Their performance at yesterday's pep rally was amazing, as usual. They yeah. did a really nice job. Awesome. And here's the, is this the student council. Yes, this is our members of our student council. Student council is advised by Adrian Frain and Stacy Bogus. Of course, they're elected representatives of the student body. Organize numerous yeah. school events, <laughs> such as homecoming, and if they know what's good for them, they'll give oh, us they some candy. Oh, they are throwing candy. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and this is our sad float this year, I believe. Yes, sad. Advisors, uh, Jackie Ritter, Danielle Blackledge, and Kelly German. Oh, the this is this is aimed oh, treats. Oh, and how can we? Oh, oh yeah. Yes, that's what we like. <laughs> Driven by uh, Cheryl Merge's husband. You know, this is an active group. They do so much for they the school. They really do a ton of stuff. And yesterday, they raised a ton of money for Springford Counseling at the Powder Puff game. I That's didn't know that went. To, that goes to Springford Counseling. This year's uh, fundraiser was awesome. for Springford Counseling. Yes. Oh, here comes the cheer squad. Here comes the cheer squad. Yeah. Okay, they are directed by Maria Cardick and Rachel Custer. Oh, they're going to perform. Oh, here we go. Great job. Very Great nice job, job yes. ladies. Lots of enthusiasm there. Yes. Okay, now it looks like our football teams are following them. We have seventh grade football. The head coach is Tim Sislov. Their assistants are Adam Swavely and Dennis Knorr. 48 members this year. They're off to a solid 3-0 and record. So Excellent. congratulations on that. <laughs> They have some siblings, I think, that are walking with them, or maybe those are Tim's kids. Yeah, I was going to say, wait a minute. <laughs> They're a little young. 
Okay, they're followed up by our eighth grade football team, coached by Parker Loomis, Matt Capaletti, and Scott Smiley. You know, they're also enjoying a very successful season with a 4-0 record. Wonderful. They have th it looks like they have three games remaining on their schedule. Wish them the best of luck. <laughs> They're very excited about being on TV. That camera. <laughs> <laughs> Healthy dose of ham there, of yes. course. He's not shy or anything, right? <laughs> no. Ninth grade football is coming up next. Hey, they're coached by Jason Kirkus, John Karapolis, Mark Morgan, and Mike Scarcelli. You know, th these guys could just as easily have a 4-0 record if a couple of plays would have gone our way. Uh, their, their current record is 1-3. and three. But they're working very hard, and uh, they're following their leaders, team leaders, their quarterback, Jake uh, Kelchner. And I guess they're going to be facing Mathacton next. They hope to get back on track before playing their home game against O&J and fin finishing with their biggest rival of PV. PV, yeah. Vanquish the Vikings, as we always say. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the uh, Springford golf team. Oh, nice. Oh, they don't get to it. They don't, uh, you know, when they, uh, they have to walk on the course, I believe, right. so they get so to ride in the parade. That. Boys and girls golf. Overall record was 9-4 and four for the boys. And four and 11 for the girls. Jeff Mast is the uh, head coach and Jerry Hollingsworth and Dan Butterwick for uh, the boys and Patty Lebo and Daryl, how do you say that, Pareco? Pareco. And they are only in their seventh season. Looks like we're followed up by girls tennis. Their coaches are Todd Reagan and Ryan Rednick. It's awesome that they put these uh, signs on the groups now, too. That's really nice. Yes, that was very helpful. I remember a couple of years ago, we were like, oh, they've got tennis balls on their shirt. They must be the <laughs> tennis team. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the varsity team finished the season with a fantastic 14-3, and three, and JV finished with even better 16-1. and one. Spring Ford Field Hockey coming down the street next. Look at all their sponsors on their banner wow. there. That is awesome to get that kind of community support. Yes, the varsity team is... Um, coached by Jenny Anderson, Mallory Green, and Caitlin Skakowski. Sk Sorry, Caitlin. Their record this year was 4 13 and 1. Okay, they're followed up by 7th and 8th grade field hockey. Uh, Joan Kenny and uh, Rachel Munoz, the coaches. Both teams are doing well 6 0 oh, and 2 and 6 and 2. And Here's I think the that is, yep, there team. we go. This is that Cindy Yetzi, <laughs> their coach in the middle. Okay, they have four wins, one loss, and two ties. She said she's very proud of their hard work and, can, and the progress the girls have shown throughout the season. Team captains are Kristen Greeby and Zaria Jones. Next oh, up, we have Spring girls for soccer, Girls Soccer, yes. coached by Tim Leland, Kelly Gove, and Scott Ziegler. They are our new 214 Pac-10 champions. Congratulations. Yes, that was a great win this week. That is awesome. Just absolutely awesome. I always give them the uh, hashtag domination thing. We've had <laughs> lots of Pac-10 champions here at Springford. Seventh and eighth grade soccer is next, right? Yes. Uh, uh, they're, they're doing well. Yes, they are coached by Randy McKinley and Mark Templeton. Six wins and two losses. And the eighth grade coaches are uh, Randy McKinley and Mark Templeton also. Five wins, two wow, draws, and one loss. Wow, look at this creativity. Whoa. Springford boys soccer. There is up. solidarity with that sign, yeah. That's great. Uh, the varsity team is coached by Doug Landis and Brent Kissel and Nick Tier. After a few years in the parade, they're starting to figure out where our cameras are. So yes. they're, they're starting to ham, ham it up a little bit, which is, that's cool. Okay. Cross country. Yes, their head coach is Brian Sullivan. The assistants are Heather Giovagnoli, Jack Cranick, and the volunteer assistant is Matt Varaday. Girls are led by freshman Gabriella Bamford, sophomore Bella Marcini. And as we talked about last, uh, with, earlier in the parade, we had our Pac-10 championship Paul Power for the second year in a row. Which is awesome. Girls Volleyball, Josh McNulty, Saren Kalish, and Ashley Fogarty. 
really loud fire trucks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is the seventh and eighth grade team, Mindy Bauer and Nick Lemuel. And here come the fire trucks. Yes, which is kind of, oh. Which is sad because that means that the parade is ending. It does, but we thank all of our firemen for being out today. The Alumni Association provides uh, food for all of the uh, fire departments who participate in the parade. We'd like to send a special thank you out to the Music Association for lending a hand in preparing the parade route today. And as you said earlier, we really want to thank uh, both Tri-County Toyota as well as Piazza Honda for providing the vehicles for our pep club and homecoming court and students in the parade today as well. Another thank you goes out to Rick Pizzico at Pizzico Signs for support with the homecoming banner that hangs over Main Street. And all of the coaches and volunteers who work with all of our fall athletes, congratulations for all of their successful seasons. And um, just to give you a little heads up on which fire trucks we're looking at, we have the Humane, Linfield, Friendship, Ho Friendship Hook and Ladder, and Hose, Oaks, and Limerick are in our parade today. Spring City has always had some yellow. They used to be gray when I was a kid, but they always had some yellow trim on the trucks. Looks good. Now they're predominantly yellow. So Dave, we can just hope that this is the beginning to a great day and a great win for our football team, which is coming up in just a few hours. Absolutely, and we're excited about that, for that to be on RCTV as well. Yes. You know, it just could not have been a nicer day for this parade. I agree. I, I, I called Mr. Bonds this morning. I was a little concerned in Gilbertsville. It looked a little shady, but the weather has definitely turned up for yet another beautiful homecoming parade. Well, once again, it was a pleasure it definitely broadcasting a pleasure. this you. with you. And we're going to sign off. This is Dave Willauer and Susan Miscavige saying make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for watching RCTV. Go Rams!